I'm Tara Joseph here with Wayne Arnold of Breaking Views to get an idea of the key events in the week ahead in Asia. And Wayne, it's like power women converging on Beijing. We had Angela Merkel of, of Germany. Now it's Hillary Clinton heading to Beijing. What's the story there? We're going for different reasons. Angela Merkel's obviously there to help uh, explain the Chinese, the European situation with the, in terms of the crisis and maybe ask for some money or support for their financial system. But Clinton, she goes to Beijing a lot these days. Well, you know, she's got a lot to talk about with China. we got a new leadership coming in. they got to build a relationship with them. And she's making a swing all the way through. And she's not just meeting them in Beijing. She's meeting them in the Cook Islands. She's going to meet them around the region. And finally, she's going to see them again in Vladivostok for the APEC meeting. So Beijing is just sort of where they're going to cement this relationship together. So she's working on the next generation of leadership. God, I hope so, that? yeah. Uh, a, <laughs> I think we need to assume that she's going to be talking to existing leaders and future leaders, yes. She's been spending a lot of time in right. Asia. She's also going to be in Indonesia at the beginning of her trip. We've got some data out of Indonesia next week. It's looking a little bit rough for Indonesia, considering China's slowing down. Yeah, I think China, uh, Indonesia's getting caught a little bit flat-footed by this. Now, the problem isn't that they're getting... Their economic growth is getting hit because they're not as export dependent, but their exports are getting hit because of China. And what that's doing is their economy is still growing, so imports are quite strong, and that's turning them to a very, very strong trade deficit and an enormous and very surprisingly large $7 billion current account deficit which is putting pressure on the currency. This has been the big success of Asia, really, over the last couple of years. After the is last couple Indonesia, of years. Indonesia, is the steam really coming off now? I think the steam has come off Indonesia, yes, in a big way, and it's shifted in some sense to the Philippines. Let's move way up north to okay. Japan. Right. There we've definitely been seeing a slowdown, and Japan yeah. car sales are coming out. What right. are we going to see These are just August that? car sales. Again, it's a very brief snapshot, but it's going to give us a sense not just of Japanese, the Japanese economic situation domestically, but also global demand for these big-ticket items. And there I think we're going to see domestic car sales will start to flag in Japan because the subsidies the government gave after the earthquake are going to run out for, for energy-efficient uh, vehicles. And the same thing globally. I think the U.S. economy is starting to slow down a little bit. Car sales are not going to look as dramatic as in the one-year period after the earthquake when production was really ramping back up and demand was very strong. That reminds me of a piece <clears throat> that I read that you wrote about watch out for earnings in Japan. Right. But the Nikkei's doing quite well. Is that yeah. going to sort of change as we see these earnings? Well, you know... Car sales and stock markets aren't the same thing. It's, it's important not to confuse these. The stock markets in Asia are doing really, really well in some ways just because people expect for a lot of money to be coming our way, whether it's from Europe after, after the Europeans come back from vacation and figure out what to do with their economy, or from the Fed after Jackson Hole, or maybe from China, because China's economy is slowing down so hard that they must be about to do something, people think. And so people are buying export stocks thinking they're going to benefit. Big autumn ahead, as you say. Right. U.S. elections, China leadership change, Europe in yeah. crisis. We're back to fall. It's We're back to school. Big events are coming. Yeah, back to school, right. absolutely. Let's hope it's not too painful.